Okay, I have a 32-inch uh, Pro LG monitor that I oopsed on and broke the screen. So now instead of just throwing it away, I was going to try to take it apart and uh, salvage some of the parts for eBay. So I've already got the standoff and I got to get the rest of it apart. I got the power pack off to the side. Uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a screwdriver and you're going to remove these screws. And I've already got them loosened so that we don't have to waste a lot of time. And then you're going to take your knife and you're going to start at one corner and it's going to basically go in and you'll be right underneath and you'll hear it pop. And then you work your way all the way around until you get to both sides and then you should be able to grab the top and lift it up just like that. And here is the uh, control wheel, which is just a matter of unplugging. It's also the uh, on off switch. And here is that control LED light. And underneath here is the power supply. I'm sorry, power supply is there. Underneath here is just the main control board for the whole monitor itself. That's as far as I'm going to take it. I'm not going to take it apart any further because all I want is the part that's in here, these switches, uh, maybe this trim, maybe somebody broke it, taken it apart, and they'll want to buy a new piece. Other than that, the unit's toast because the glass in front's broken and the LCD is broken. And that's it. I mean, there's a few more screws that we're going to take off that will take this whole cover off. Uh, you know what? I'm going to pause and then remove some of it and come back. So we're back from taking out a whole bunch of screws. I took out the screws from the LED ring. And then I'm going to take the last one out to show you. It's this here. So you remove the screw. And then you'll be able to remove the half circle of the LED. And then make sure you push down on the back here. That releases the hook so that you can pull the wire out. So there's one of them. And then I've already unscrewed and unhooked these. And I'm sure somebody will want one of those. Same with these little gizmos here, this the dial. You're going to push down on the back so you can see the front lift up and you'll pull out. And then there it is. Now this ring should come off. It looks like there's some uh, wire retention there. And this one goes underneath. And there, that's probably steel scrap and then I have these undone maybe am I missing one I don't see any screws but for some odd reason it doesn't want to doesn't want to lift up okay we're back it took a little bit to figure it out. I thought the wires were holding me back, but it turns out when you lift it up, underneath is a big rubber sticky thing that sticks on here, supposing it's some sort of heat sink to link it to the back metal shield. But that's it. This is the main board. I'm gonna unplug everything, and um, that's it. I've taken the main circuit board off, put it aside, and I've removed the rest of the screws for this outside trim and this lower part. And then it just lifts right off. No wires attached. And underneath here is, I don't know what it's called. All I know is it's the inverter or something and it connects the LED panel to the board right here.
and I'm hoping to uh, get underneath here and then see what the other side looks like. I'm assuming these are held on with sticky tape. At least that's what they were before. Okay. All right. So now we've got those. Those don't disconnect, it looks like, until I get to the other side. So now I got to figure out how to do that. I'm going to flip it around. And underneath here, there must be something. I don't see any screws to remove that. Oh, there is. Look at that. Missed a couple. Okay. All right. So that removes that. Where's that? And then you can see where these flip over. And then to get the panel apart, it looks like I have to lift these up. You may want to come in here so they can see these little tabs that are holding. So you got to lift that up. Let me get my my butter knife. Oh yeah. And I got to go all the way around. And be careful they don't pop back. They like to back. We had a little slip and uh, I picked it up. That's not as easy to come apart as it looks. But I have a good start. And I'm going to try to get the rest of it while I'm taping. Thought I had them all unlocked, but they like to slide back and then they lock again. Okay. Okay, so I'm not sure what I have here. This is the front of the screen and it doesn't look, oh, you can see where the glass is broken. So I'm not sure. And then this, one of these is a polarizer that polarizes and straightens the light out. It's kind of... And then this next one is a mat that two more polarizers, it looks like. And then this is the LED. I think but it's weird if that's the LED there are no connections here is the the back metal plate Interesting. If 
feels like a Fresno lens. Um, I'm gonna have to go back and say that this is the LED. And this is where the signal comes. But where does the light, I don't see any LEDs for a light. This is very unusual. So anybody who watches this, if you know more about this than I do, please let me know how this works. Where are the LEDs that light up the screen? It's very flexible. I can't imagine why this broke. It almost feels like there's no glass in here. Anyway, that seems to be the end of it. Thanks for watching again.